attaching this thing to me. Okay. Um, so hopefully this is kind of fun. Obviously this is centered towards the iPhone and iPad. However, um, I feel that these apps are probably probably have sibling apps um, on Android or other devices that are out there. So if you're using another device, um, now that you know that there's a lot of stuff out there for the iPhone and iPad, this will give you the opportunity to see what's out there for you. Um, the idea is um, I was gone for 10 days in late October. And I'm also in charge of the CAVotes.org website, which is an election resource uh, for the state of California. And there was an election on November 2nd. So if you do the math, you can sort of assume that I had to be available um, for CA votes, for the League of Women Voters of California, who is uh, behind that site, I had to be available for any emergencies having to do with that site over the course of the 10 days that I was literally driving across the country in a minivan stuffed with a grandfather clock and a dog and, um, you know, n nothing really that says, okay, I can build or manage websites. Um, Fortunately, my boyfriend is kind enough to give me an iPad, um, and I have an iPhone. So I, um, since I wasn't going to be able to stop and pull out my computer, um, what I did was I figured out how to set myself up to be able to do everything I needed to do with the Drupal sites on any kind of an emergency basis using just my iPhone and my iPad. And I'm proud to say, even though my computer was stuffed in the back behind the grandfather clock, away from the dog, I never touched it during the entire course of the 10 days, and I did handle quite a few um, emergencies or quick, um, quick fixes, things that needed to be done. So here's how I did it. Um, first of all, this is a screen cap both from my iPad and my iPhone showing you some of the apps that I found. Um, you'll see Drupal admin on both of these. I actually never touched that module. Um, in fact, I, instead I was using Drupad, which is a little bit more powerful. Drupal admin is a free module. Drupad costs five dollars. Um, but basically I have access into two uh, web hosts, Linode and Slicehost. Um, if needed, I could hard reboot a server. Um, just from from these, um, the CA votes site is on Slicehost, um, so I had apps for that ready for myself. Um, I also had Drupad, which I'll be showing off, which is a great little um, module and iPhone app. Um, and then I also had um, a D6, this free um, iPhone app called the D6 Sheet. And it's got a lot of great little tips, um, just you know, quick access, which I'll show you. Um, so we'll just go through some of these. Um, D6 sheet, as you can see, you can just kind of get quick access to functions or theming or page variables. So if you didn't bring the uh, Pro Drupal development book with you on your trip because it didn't fit in your uh, carry-on bag, you can access some of the key things that you might need quick access to just using this sweet little free app that you can download. Um, this is Drupad, which I think is the app that um, I, I would love to make a commercial for. It's just so awesome. It's an app and a module, and I should have looked up the name of the, the person who wrote these. Um, maybe that person's sitting in the room. I don't know. <laughs> Are you? No. Um, but so it's an app and a module, and, and we'll look at the module part a little bit later. But you'll notice something about the app. When you set up, you can set up a number of sites um, on your iPhone or iPad in your Drupad app. Um, and those sites you can automatically just log into after you set them up. But it does require a passcode before you can get into Drupad itself. So if somebody else, you know, if I'm here at this event and uh, Lee is trying to mess with me so she picks up my iPhone and logs in. She can't log into one of my sites and you know put it in maintenance mode to play a joke on me um, because it's going to require a passcode. <laughs> Not saying Lee would do that but you know. Um, and then you can see here from these screen caps just how many options you have just with a, a press of a finger on your iPhone or iPad. Um, 
you can get into your content, you can see your log entries, you can run cron, you can put it into maintenance mode, you can run a backup. Um, here's a, a quick log um, log report if you're trying to see, you know, why is something going wrong, why is their page not found going on. Um, this shows you, you know, you can run cron, you can see when it was last ran, run, you can do a quick backup. Um, you can also manage your comments and your content. So imagine how useful this could be for some of your clients. Or some of you might be administrators of a very active Drupal site. Um, so just an example, both with comments and with content, um, this, shows you, this shows you a screen cap of content. Um, you'll see you can publish it, you can sticky it, you can, um, you can unpublish it, you can share it. Uh, so you could send it straight to Twitter or Facebook um, or, you know, any number of things that you have set up. Um, and you can do exactly the same thing with comments. So you can just see how nice and, and friendly and also faster than doing it on your website, actually, in some cases. Um, and users as well. Let's say you have a user. Um, Trin's one of my best friends, so I can make fun of her. Um, let's say Trin was trying to do really bad stuff on CA votes. Um, I could just block her then and there and say, no, you're not doing anything more. Or I can send her an email and say, what are you doing? Um, right from, from my iPhone or iPad. Um, if you need some kind of SSH access terminal, uh, command line, whatever, you can use touch term. Um, there are a number of other apps. This one was the cheapest that I saw that didn't have horrific ratings. So this is the one that I downloaded when I left. Um, but, you know, you could choose your own, your own app. Touch Terms just the one I ended up using. Uh, but let's flip over to iVersion because this is what I, uh, aside from Drupad, which I thought was pretty darn awesome, iVersion is also pretty darn awesome. Um, gives you access to anything in Subversion. So you can actually set up sites, you can check out working copies, you can edit those working copies, um, and you can then commit. You can also see a commit log if you need to see what's been going on on a particular site. Um, you can pull that up right from here. Um, and then you can also, um, you'll see down at the bottom it says add to favorites. If there's a particular directory that you want to be able to get into really quickly, you just add it to your favorites and you can go right in. Um, so, so that's pretty cool. Um, this app is called Gusto. This is iPad only. Um, but if you need to be able to edit, um, if you need to be able to edit CSS or, or something like that, this is a good app to do it with. It is only FTP, so it'd have to be projects that aren't in Subversion. Um, if they are in Subversion, you'd have to use iVersion. Uh, and now we're looking at the actual um, module. So we're looking at um, we're looking at a site that's in development right now, and just showing you what can be accessed using Drupad. So when you enable the module, you go to um, um, you go to pro is it Drupal.org project Drupad. You download it, you install it, you enable it, and then you can go to admin settings Drupad and set up what people can actually access, which includes you know, comments, content, users, um, various things that you might want them to be able to access. And I just wanted to show you that the permissions, you can also set it up so that certain users can use Drupad and other users can't. So if you have a site manager who's supposed to be able to just manage comments on the site, um, they'll only have access to whatever they actually have the permissions to use. So if they um, only can administer comments, then that's the only thing that they'll see when they open up Drupad. Um, so that's basically it. I, I was hoping this would be short, sweet, and fun. Um, so just showing you a quick rundown of the apps that I used. Again, they're just the apps that I used, um, but it's pretty powerful. And it was really fantastic to be able to go for 10 days without touching my computer and be able to edit CSS, be able to update things that are in version control, um, run cron. Um, I did have to hard reboot a server once. That, you know, happens. I shook nose about that. <laughs> Is that using Slice Host or the Lindo? That was Slice Host. 
without yeah. us through the mobile app? Right? Yep, and actually that was faster than dealing with it on the web interface as well. So um, it's it's pretty amazing what it can do. Any questions? Probably not. Fairly simple, but. Um, I, I don't know, I'm just, I, I keep imagining all the great uses for this. <laughs> Would you do it again? Absolutely. <laughs> um, so anyone, anyone found apps like this for other mobile platforms that they want to share? Okay. Oh, there you are. <laughs> I yeah. use ConnectBot for SSH. ConnectBot? It's the best terminal program I've seen on any mobile device. Great. That's good to know, yeah. This might sound like a naive question, but what I'm curious about is what are the appropriate for I'm not like a super advanced person here, but uh, I'm just, my intuition is that I don't want to do things just on the fly or the screen. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say a big one would be running cron or backing up your site. Um, those would definitely be really big ones. Um, hopefully Drupad goes to the point of actually enabling you to restore a, a backup if needed. Uh, of course that would be riskier so you'd want to have a good setup for that. Um, for testing that, but yeah, yeah. Um, but on a smaller scale, thinking of your clients or your day-to-day -day needs, um, if you do have a very active site that has a lot of comments on it, it could be really helpful. Um, let's say you're a high profile or you have a high profile client and you want to be able to approve the comments because they might be iffy. Um, it would be nicer for whoever has to do that work to be able to do it from their iPhone. Um, a, a good example is CA Votes, a uh, very good example with CA Votes is that all of the content on CA Votes has to be approved by a League of Women Voters um, director from the Board of Directors. And um, they, they're very busy women, they could be you know, anywhere at any given time, but maybe the content's a little bit more urgent, so they can actually approve or on a more immediate level unpublish. Um, we had an issue there was content that was put up because it came from the Secretary of State's office about one of the candidates uh, who was running for a high profile office this past election. And that content was put up on the site. We thought it was good because it was from the Secretary of State's office, but it actually wasn't. And the candidate contacted us, or their office contacted us and said, you have to take that down now or we'll sue you. So it's a lot better to be able to say, okay, <laughs> press unpublish. Um, rather than to um, rather than to have to you know pull out the computer, boot it up, or, or get home and, and get to your computer or whatever, um, you can access it through a browser certainly. But it's a lot easier to just be able to go on the fly really quickly. Um, another really good kind of practical application is if um, and this again might be more useful for your clients than for you as an administrator, um, if there's stuff that they want to share on Facebook or tweet. Let's say your client is a musician. Um, so they really need to be engaged in that kind of social viral environment. Um, giving them this interface to share on Facebook or tweet is, is a lot easier um, if you're not automating it from the site, which you can do. But sometimes people don't want that because they want to control it. Um, it's a much easier way to, to set it up for them. Um, you know, every Everybody who uses an iPhone or an iPad is comfortable using an iPhone or an iPad app, but they're not necessarily comfortable in a web browser interface on a Drupal site. So it, it, I, I can see this. I mean, this was awesome for me being on the road for 10 days, but I can definitely see this being incredibly awesome for the uh, technically reluctant client. Um, yeah. Does that answer your, your question? Great. Yeah. Did you, did you use a keyboard with your iPad? 
I did. Um, I I didn't have to for any of the stuff that I just showed you. Well, except it it might be kind of a nightmare to to do any CSS or, or actual coding. Or, that's a safety <laughs> yeah, command, yeah. So. That could that that's true. Um, so yes, I do have a keyboard for for my iPad. Um, that's just personal choice. Yeah. Hey, Rain. Yeah. I'm not sure about the limits of Drupal yet, with in terms of. Uh, viewing and editing content, mm -hmm. uh, specifically notes. But I was kind of thinking like, you know, <clears throat> it would actually be cheaper for the customer and myself to have them use something like Drupad for warehouse order fulfillments of Uber cart, mm -hmm. you know, for a website. Because then there's very minimal training yeah. that has to kind of happen and they can kind of carry it with them, managers or not. But I'm kind of seeing this like, wow, if I, I'm, I'm used to coding forms that add and edit notes that mm -hmm. are not the standard note edit and add form because people are just not comfortable with some of those forms. So I simplify it and now it's like I'm looking at this one, wow, maybe I don't even have to code it at all. I don't spend five bucks and you're good to go. Yeah, it doesn't uh, It doesn't currently integrate with Ubercart, but there is a request for that yeah, in the I'm issue queue. Um, I put in a request specifically for, um, specifically for tying in flags as well, because that's not currently in the app. But yeah. as uh, Ashok has worked with me on CA votes, and we, we used flags as a big part of the workflow. So not having the tie in to flags is actually a big deal for CA votes. And once that happens, it's going to be remarkable for them. Um, flags will be perfect but, for live events like you're talking about. Because, yeah. you know, with like Verizon centers, people can text things, mm -hmm. but they have to be administered by people literally in an office. Mm -hmm. So they're sitting there looking at, you know, Mac Mini, waiting for something to come in. Mm -hmm. But instead, anybody who's in an ministry gets a notification, you yeah. know, jumps right into the app, deletes it because it's, you know, full of words where they literally right. approve it. And I mean, within minutes, you know, or seconds, you can yeah. see your friend's photo up on the screen. And yeah. We're publishing with flags. So that's cool. Yeah. I like that. It's I have to say it's it um it feels really empowering to be in the middle of Zion and be able to say, Oh, I have to do something quickly on a site. Okay, no problem. Um anyway. I, that's why I wanted to share this because Zion I was Utah. able to do that. Yes. yes. In the middle of the Zion National Park. <laughs> Question uh, I'm curious, did did you try just for comparison opening up the site through Safari, say on the iPad? It takes forever. Those I mean, it doesn't take forever, but by comparison, yeah, it takes forever. Because so the real advantage of this is this is bypassing all yeah. the HTML. And you don't have to log in, and you don't have to you don't have to try to use admin menu on a tiny little screen. Um, yeah. How many times have you probably clicked the text and you go, no, 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 not that one, no, no, oh, my yeah. stupid fat fingers, <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm getting a lot of head nods. Yeah. <laughs> Any other questions yeah. for Rain and this awesome mobileness of Drupal? Administering? That's it. I did have one important question. Did the clock make the trip okay? <laughs> <laughs> it did, as did the dog. Um, they are both completely intact. <laughs> I did more work about the dog. But, uh, I figured. Yes. Rain would not be Dog's fine. <laughs> Everything made the trip okay. <laughs> yes. All right. All right, well, let's give it a round of applause.